Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can manually update your game software on your Nintendo Switch. So all you need to do is you need to go to the particular game you want to update. So for example if I want to do Mario Kart 8, all I have to then do is hit the plus button or the minus button. They will both bring up the same menu. So if I hit plus you will then see it brings up this menu here. I then need to go down to software update and I can press A and look for it via the internet. So I do have to be online, so you have to be connected to the internet in order to check for the updates. Then press A, and now it's gonna check, and it says here you are using the latest version of the software. Okay, right, let me just check one more. Let's say if I wanted to check Snake Pass. Again, let's hit the minus button this time. Brings up this menu, go down to software update. I can just go across if you prefer to via the internet and then press A, or of course you can use the touch screen. Again, it says here that I'm already using the latest software. That's because I've enabled it to do it automatically. Now, it should be like this by default, but you might have disabled it when you were playing around in the settings. Let me show you how to check that. Just go to System Settings, and then you need to go all the way down here to System, and then you need to look for automatic software updates and at the moment you can see I've got mine set to on if you tap it you will see it's now off so if yours is off just tap it to on and that's all you will now get the automatic updates through for the games and also the system software will come through automatically as well so it's nice and simple to do if you've got it set to on and it's not working then normally if you fully power down your switch and turn it back on again that can solve that problem so for example if i was to hold a power button down for about three or four seconds you will see that this menu will come up and now i can go down to power options and press a or you can just tap the screen and now i can go to restart or power off now by doing that that will hopefully fix the issue so i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos take care bye now